A true civic leader and a veteran, George Arthur worked for the people even while sick. Today, we're remembering him. Decades of dedicated service to the city of Buffalo, George K. Arthur was a humble man, but powerful in the fight for justice for the community he served. Christmas Day 2020, at the age of 87, the former Buffalo Common Council president died. His son tells me he died peacefully at home. Tributes are coming in, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown calling Arthur a powerhouse in Buffalo government and politics, a tireless advocate for positive change a change maker and inspiration. George K, as some would call him, wouldn't stop until he saw equality in housing and education. In fact, he was part of the federal lawsuit that led to desegregation in Buffalo schools. He was an advocate for the arts, including the African American Cultural Center, the Pine Grove Reunion, and the Nash House. For me, as a person of color, there can never be enough diversity. He was a photographer and would often share some of his work. He was one of the few to have a photo with the late Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he came to Buffalo. He spoke with me about Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech 50 years later. Do you think that kids today um, truly understand what no, he did? No, they don't. I think they know of a Dr. King. They know what his reputation is. They know that he was a, a world leader but they really don't understand the real sacrifices that he went through. He's on the Freedom Wall and alive to see that honor. That's when we asked him about his legacy. I, I hope it's one of caring that when I was in office, my whole thing was that we wanted to take care of the people who came into the office and the citizens of the city of Buffalo. A man who knew his history, the city's history. During his political career, he almost beat the late Mayor Jimmy Griffin. He was an electoral college delegate for former President Obama. There's also a community center named after Arthur, a man who stood up for the people he served in Buffalo.